Okay, hello, hello my children. Today I want to talk about prisms, okay? Prism, what is a prism? A prism is any shape that has a base that is a shape. You could do a circular, a circular prism, a rectangular prism, and we'll just do these three today, triangular prism. So it's a shape that has a long body. So in the case of a circular prism, we call this a cylinder. A rectangular prism we call a rectangular prism or a box I'm awesome at drawing these and a triangular prism okay so prisms have this is so bad so bad prisms have I mean two real main dimensions we need to talk about okay we have their face so the face or the base is the shape that the prism is based on. So in the case of a cylinder, it's a circle. In the case of a rectangular prism, it's a rectangle. And in the case of a triangular prism, it's a triangle, okay? And then they have their, their length, the things that make them a prism, okay? Length, or sometimes they call it height. It doesn't really matter. You just need to know that it's how long the prism is, okay? So we have two different things we can calculate for prisms, okay? We have the total area, so the area of the face, the back face, and around, or in this case, the total area of up, 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 or in this case, the area of the triangle here, the triangle there, and the three faces, okay? So let's start with a cylinder. So the area, the total area of a cylinder, area total, is going to be equal to the area of the two faces, so, and these are called the base, so it's going to be two times the area of one base, because this circle is going to be equal to this circle, plus the side, the area of what wraps around, okay, the area of the side. The area of the base is simply just the area of a circle, which we know is pi r squared. And the area of the side, now think of like a tuna can or a tomato can. If you were to take the wrapper and unwrap it, you would have a rectangle. It would just be a rectangle. And to figure out how long the top of the rectangle is that wraps around, well that's circumference. So circumference is uh, pi times d, and if we know that d is the same as 2r, it's the same as 2 pi r, okay? But we also need to multiply, sorry, so let me fix this. Circumference we know is pi d or 2 pi r. But to get the, so that's to get around, but we also need to multiply because it's gonna be a rectangle like this, right? So around is going to be, this is gonna be the circumference, and then we also need to know this. And in this case, that is going to be this distance right here, the length. So it's going to be 2 pi, area of the side is 2 pi r times however long our cylinder is. Length, or sometimes they say height. You just need to know that it's this, okay, how long it is. So that means that our total area is pi r squared plus 2 pi r times the length. And the r is the radius, the distance from the middle to the edge of a circle, okay? This is on your formula sheet, this is how you get it, okay? The other thing we can calculate for a cylinder is its volume, volume of a cylinder. Now you have to think of, volume is basically a whole bunch of slices of circles added together, okay? And the amount that you add together is the length. So it's the area of the base times the length, or they call it height, but it's just this distance, okay? And we know that the area of the base is pi r squared. So this, the volume of a cylinder is simply pi r squared times L, or height. It's this, this is this. Sometimes they call it height, Sometimes they call it length. You just need to know what that number is, okay? 
So let's do an example of calculating, calculating volume and area. Okay, so we have a cylinder, a nice little pipe, and we have a radius, let's say it's five centimeters, and a length or height, which is 10 centimeters, okay? That's all I need. I, that's here, the only two dimensions I need to calculate everything for this cylinder. So let's do volume, because volume is easier. Okay, volume is area of the base times the length. And we know that area of base is the area of a circle, because that's the base of our prism, is pi r squared times pi r squared, okay? Which is the same as pi times 5 centimeters squared. So area of the base is 20 pi times 5 squared, which I don't know off the top of my head, times 5 squared, is 78.54. Okay, I recommend two decimals until the end and then go down to one decimal, just for precision. Okay, and the volume, that's my dog, uh, volume is, sorry, centimeters, dimensions of uh, area are squared, right? It's, so it's 78.54 centimeters squared. Now we're multiplying it by how long it is? 10 centimeters, okay? Easy enough, volume equals 705.4 centimeters cubed. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Pretty easy. You just need to know what to put into what. So now area, which is a little slightly more involved. So area total is equal to two area of the base plus area of the side. And we know that it's two pi times r squared, r pi r squared is area of the base, plus two pi r l, area of the side. All we need is r and l, we have those. So we can plug that in, two pi times five centimeters squared, plus two pi times five centimeters, times 10 centimeters, okay? This becomes, 157.08 centimeters squared plus this becomes 2 times 5 times 5 times 10. 314.16 centimeters squared. I add those up and I get my area, my total area of the cylinder is equal to that plus that. Now I'm going to go around just to one decimal place. It's 471.2 centimeters squared. It's important not to round your numbers too early because the error that that creates propagates or gets bigger as you go. It's just like an, air, an airplane that starts to go off course. The further along you go, the further off course it, it is from where it should have been. That's the only reason. So that's that. That's how you do cylinders, okay? I'm done.